Ricardo Ferreira is going to be the first actual question of the day. Ricardo Ferreira asks, can I charge my 2S LiPos at one amp? Okay, so first of all, the voltage of your LiPo doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, obviously it matters. You, you have to charge at the right voltage, but your charger will take care of that. The real question is, what C rate can you charge at? And let's just pull up a little calculator here. Pull up a little calculator here. Um, you have a 450 or 500 milliamp hour battery. Let's just say it's 500 milliamp hours. 500 milliamp hours, a 1C would be 0 0.5 amps. That's a zero, that's a 0 0.5 amp hours. 500 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.5 amp hours. So 1C would be 500 milliamps or 0 0.5 amps. 2C would be 1 amp. So the question is, can you charge your battery at 2C? And the answer is yes. Just yes. Um, now, 1C is the safest. That is a fact. Um, why is it 1C? Why isn't it 0.8C? Why isn't it 1.2C? Because people like round numbers. The reality is that the safeness and danger of charging batteries is a sliding scale. And everybody decides where they are on that scale. When you're a beginner, or if you're just dumb because you're new, or maybe you're just dumb. I mean, let me, look, look. look. If you're dumb, then you, you should, you should, you got to learn that you're dumb. You got to play around that, right? Okay. <laughs> we charge at 1C because it's safest and the math is easy. Doesn't require any math. 1300 milliamp hour battery, 1.3 amps. Done. But um, why can't you charge at 2C? You can. Why can't you charge at 3C? You can. Why can't you charge at 5C? You can. Well, why can't you charge at 10C? Ooh, well, I mean, you can. You see the difference in those? In those? The higher, the, the higher your charge rate, the more likely it is for something to go wrong. And then the battery lights on fire. And now you're having a real bad time. Like a real bad time. Do you know that lithium battery fires are self-sustaining? If you put a lithium battery underwater and puncture it, it will create fire. Underwater. If you take a lithium battery in a vacuum, in an oxygen-starved environment, in an environment-starved environment, would it really be an environment then? It'll make fire. It doesn't need environmental oxygen. Ha! It's got all the oxygen it needs right inside it. So when a lithium battery goes off, it's a bad time. And the whole point of charging at a safe rate is to prevent that from happening, to minimize the odds of that happening. So you could charge at 2C. And frankly, I, my opinion is that the risk of charging at 2C, I don't think it's significantly different than charging at 1C. Somewhere between like 2 or 3C and like 5C, my personal, like, mm, I don't know if I feel good about this, changes. And above 5C, I'm not sure it's worth it. But the two questions that you ask yourself are, I think, number one, am I significantly increasing the odds of, like, blowing up the battery? And what you have to worry about there is a battery that has an internal problem, like a damaged cell or a bad connection that's been damaged from crashing. And the, the, the faster you're charging, the more heat will build up and the worse things will get when they get bad. So if you have a slightly damaged battery, it could be fine forever if you charge it at 1C. But if you charge it at 5C, maybe it would, that would sort of push it over the edge and it would light on fire. So one of the reasons we charge at 1C is that if a battery is less than perfectly healthy, it reduces the odds that it will actually go over the edge and light on fire. But the other thing is, the other thing is that charging a battery too fast 
eventually just the fact that you're charging it too fast will damage it. But frankly, like a lot of batteries that I see, uh, the manufacturer says you could charge them between 3 and 5C, which suggests that probably it's not really hurting the battery. Because if you think about it, you discharge it at 70 amps, you charge it at 5 amps. Eh. Charging isn't the same as discharging, but the manufacturer says you can charge it at 3 to 5C, depending on the battery. Why do we charge it at 1C? Well, because, you know, safety. Because you're in a hurry, but if it lights on fire, you're going to have a bad day. So, what's my take on this? If you're a beginner, or if you're dumb... Charge at 1C. If you are very confident that your battery is healthy, and if you are absolutely certain that you're going to be right there when it starts to go bad, when it starts to hiss and crackle and puff, and instead of being in the other room, getting yourself a drink or playing a video game, you're going to be right there and you're going to go, oh, so shit! And you're going to... Pick it up with your fireplace glove that you keep nearby. If you know your big heavy leather glove, you're going to throw it out the window into the driveway where it can light on fire and not hurt anything. They charge it three or five C. It's probably fine. But the problem comes when people get careless and they charge it three to five C because they listen to this whole 15 minute spiel and all they took from it was Barbell says you can charge it three and five C. And then they go in the other room, they play a video game, and then it lights on fire and burns their house down. And then they're like, damn, Bardwell, you burned my house down! 